नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट रेगुलराइजेशन विथ एस के लर्न देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेगुलराइजेशन दैट वी स्टडीड इन मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स रिच एंड लासो लेट्स फर्स्ट सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट रिच रेगुलराइजेशन विथ एस के लर्न फर्स्ट will perform ridge regularization with specific regularization rate there are two options to specify the ridge regularization in sk learn as a first option we can instantiate object of ridge estimator then we set parameter alpha to the required regularization rate so here i have a word of caution for you so we have used alpha as a learning rate in machine learning techniques course but in sk learn alpha is used as a regularization parameter in techniques course we used lambda as a regularization rate so that would be one of the one source of confusion so i would like you to be careful when you when you use sk learn and this alpha in sk learn corresponds to regularization rate when used as a parameter inside the ridge estimator so we can import the ridge class from sklearn.linear_model module and we are instantiate the ridge object with value of alpha set to 0.0001 and since ridge is an estimator fit score and predict work exactly like any other linear regression estimator as a second option we can instantiate object of hjd regressor estimator and in hjd regressor estimator we set penalty to l2 and also set the parameter alpha to the required regularization rate so in the first illustration we set the alpha explicitly to a particular regularization rate but ideally we would like to find alpha value automatically so let's try to understand how to search for the best regularization parameter for ridge regression again there are two options either we can use either we can use the ridge cv estimator that performs build in cross validation and finds out the best regularization rate and the second option is to use ridge or svd reg regressor estimators as as defined in the previous slide and we can use we can use hyperparameter tuning for searching the best regularization we can either use grid search or randomized search for for the search of alpha so let's study how to perform ridge regularization in polynomial regression here we set up a pipeline of polynomial transformation followed by the ridge regressor so we have a pipeline where we have polynomial transformation you know as instantiated with polynomial feature uh, object with degree equal to 2 followed by ridge with the specified value of the parameter alpha and then we can simply call uh, fit function on the on the pipeline object with the feature matrix and label as and labels as arguments so here we'll perform first the polynomial transformation and then we'll then we'll use the ridge regression estimator for for learning the parameters of the linear model so instead of ridge we can also use hjd regressor as shown in a couple of slides before to get equivalent formulation so that was about ridge let's try to understand how to perform lasso regularization with specific regularization rate again there are two options either we can use lasso estimator and set the parameter alpha to the required regularization rate lasso class is implemented as part of sklearn dot linear underscore module in option 2 we can instantiate an object of hjd regressor estimator 
and set the parameter alpha to the to the required regularization rate and penalty to L1. Again, similar to Ridge, we also need to search for the best regularization parameter for lasso regularization. There are two options. We can either use lasso CV estimator that built that has built-in cross validation for finding the best regularization rate. And second is to use cross validation with lasso and SVD regressor to search for the best regularization. We can use a couple of hyperparameter search methods like grid search or randomized search for, for finding the best regularization parameter. Let's see how to perform lasso regularization in, in polynomial regression. So, so just like Ridge, we here also we set up a pipeline of polynomial transformation followed by a lasso regressor. Instead of lasso, we can also use HDD regressor to get equivalent formulation. We can see that here we have we have instantiated an object of a pipeline class with polynomial transformation, you know, specified by, by instantiating object of polynomial features, and then we have also then we have lasso as a second step, which is specified by, by constructing an object of a lasso class with specified regularization rate. So apart from using ridge and lasso separately, we can also use what is called as elastic net, elastic net regularization, where we can use both lasso and ridge regularization together. Let's see how to do that. So we can set up a pipeline of polynomial transformation followed by HDD regressor with penalty equal to elastic net. So here we have HDD regressor object with penalty equal to elastic net and we set the L1 ratio to 0.3. So elastic net is basically a convex combination of L1 and L2 regularization. So in this case, we have set the value of L1 ratio to 0.3, which means L2 ratio will be 1 minus L1 ratio, and in this case it will be 0.7. So L2 or the ridge regression takes higher weightage in this formulation. So we get the regularization that is combination of L1 and L2. In case you set L1 ratio to 1, we get the formulation that is equivalent to lasso. And if you set L1 ratio equal to 0, we get formulation that is equivalent to the ridge regression when we set the penalty equal to elastic net. That's the end of this module. In summary, we learned how to implement different regression models like standard linear regression and polynomial regression with sklearn. We also learned how to specify the regularization. We learned how to evaluate models through different error metrics and scores derived from the error metrics. Then we also studied cross-validation with different iterators and hyperparameter tuning via grid and randomized search.